Hi fans, Tom Tiger here, and welcome to this edition of Tom Tiger's Show and Share. Today, um, we just received a couple packages from two days ago from a friend of Superman Project, and because we're going to be leaving in Cal to California next Friday, we thought maybe we could share you an early birthday gift haul from a friend of ours. So, let's take a look. First, we have David Weisner and the Art of Wordless Storytelling. This art cover, art book, is, is a special book that shows you the history of David Weisner's artwork and pictures from his famous children's books that you may or may not recognize depending on how old you are. Look at this scene from the story of Flotsam. Flotsam was a very interesting story to tell without words because many of his books have no words in it. They just let the story tell themselves. Flotsam is one of them. Of course, some stories like a retelling of the three pigs and Art and Max, they just have characters talk their way through these stories in a much more whimsical manner. Now, in, now here in this scene is from a book that Elisa got inspiration for titled Free Fall. Elisa wanted to do a dream book, and when she stumbled into that storybook, that's when things get very interesting, since it had a lot of feels from fairy tales to Alice in Wonderland to Gulliver's Travels and more, even Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland. These illustrations are from another book titled Hurricane, in which two brothers in the middle of a hurricane just wondered what could become of us until they noticed the tree that fell and it becomes a playground in the outcome of a hurricane. This next scene is from the story of Tuesday, a bizarre and surreal story about when frogs take a ride in their floating lily pads through a town on a Tuesday evening. It was even adapted into a short film that was part of the Paul McCartney special sometime in the 90s, I think, or maybe the early 2000s. But it has the music of Paul McCartney in it. And it tells all through the story, all through the course of this 11-minute short, and these artworks are amazing. Here's another one. June 29th, 1999. The story about when a young girl named Holly Evans experiments by bringing vegetable plants with these weather balloons into the sky. But on that said title date, Giant vegetables have been sighted all over the states. And trust me, it was very Twilight Zone-esque, but a little more less likely to be frightening. Because it's a little more harmless, more amazing, and a lot of people feel very proud for their latest discoveries on giant vegetables floating to Earth. But here is the answer. It turns out that the giant vegetables weren't part of Holly's experiment. They were concocted by a race of octopus-like aliens who are touring our solar system in a spaceship, but accidentally flushed all of our ve their vegetable supply overboard. And now here's another one. Sector 7. Sector 7 tells a story about a boy on a field trip to New York's 
Empire State Building and becomes friends with a cloud who takes him on a wild adventure to this magical cloud factory where with the help of his artistic talent he decides to make clouds shape in a different form that people can see more than anything. And it gets very interesting because